Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at what is the least amount of RAM that Windows 2000 will run on. Now I know that we've done Windows ME, and I know that we've done Windows XP, but Windows 2000 is a little unique. Windows ME still ran on the 9X kernel. Windows 2000 now runs on the NT kernel. And obviously Windows 2000, just by the way that the desktop feels and functions, it is more lightweight than what is found in Windows XP. So I'm expecting this to be more than Windows ME, but less than XP, kind of like the medium here. So by default, I believe VMware has set this by default to 256 megs of RAM, which, I mean, that's pretty good for a Windows 2000 computer back at the time. So we're going to go ahead and shut down the machine. And if you've never seen one of these videos before on my channel, what we do is we just go through and we increment the virtual RAM amount just down until it either doesn't boot or doesn't work. So I mean, I'm pretty confident that we can go to like 200. I feel like I feel like it's still going to work at 200 megs because we could even get Windows 10 to run on 176 megs. Windows 2000 on 200 megs of RAM. Very slow. I mean, slower than 256 for sure. Or maybe it was just booting up. Oh wait, nope. It is maybe. Yeah, this is definitely slower, but still usable. So 200 megs, I'm saying we'll go straight down to 128 because we know that Windows 10 can run on 176. So I think that we need to go lower than that. So 128. And it did boot, unsurprisingly. I mean, obviously, like this low amount of RAM was common back in the time where this Microsoft OS was used. But uh, 128 megs of RAM, still working pretty much fine. I really don't remember if Task Manager was a thing in this version. Um, I really cannot remember. Um, oh wait, yeah, it was. Okay, but can we see RAM usage? We can. Okay, cool. So yeah, it's really not using a ton of RAM. Or is it? No, it's, it's really not. Okay. Let's go ahead, power off, and I don't want to cut it in half again. I'm going to go to 96, uh, and we're going to go ahead and try that. And here we are, 100, or no, not even 100, 96 megs of RAM. We are, it's, it booted really slow. I mean, we're noticing that stuff is booting slower. Um, but still, we are not using that much RAM. Um, I, is there a... Yeah, there is a page file. Okay, so we actually are using, we have seven, about 8,000 kilobytes available of physical memory. Um, I totally forgot about the page file. <laughs> so let's go ahead down to, I wanna go to like 70 something, 72. We'll try that. And uh, 70, 72 megabytes of RAM here. We're noticing things like just opening that got so much slower. But it is working. Um, not really surprised. 64 is not that much of a difference. I'm going to go 56. But uh, yeah, it is. it did boot. Um, I would like to see RAM usage. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, I'm not going to drop straight down the 20. I want to go like 32 just to see, but let, let's go. Okay, so it looks like VMware Tools has ran out of RAM to use because it cannot adjust, but Windows 2000 did still boot. Um, we are missing icons. Oh, wait, no, there we go. So VMware Tools refused to boot, which means our display drivers are just not working. Um, so we're getting there, but I believe Windows XP would not boot on 32 megs, or it, 32 megs was Windows XP's limit. And it did boot, but the desktop environment is not loading, or it is loading, but it's taking too long. Um, I'm going to crank it down to 12. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Windows ME was 8, so this is literally, like I said, less than XP, more than ME. Okay. 12 is too low. So, we are going to try 16 
And if 16 doesn't work, then where our limit is actually 20. It did not boot on 16, but it's a different error. It's not the blue screen, it's an ACPI error. Um, very great. So 20. I guess that is our limit. As long as we can get past without a blue screen, I'm calling it at 20. So it is booting, it's just taking a ridiculously long time, and I really don't want to sit here and wait for this to boot just because it's taking so long. So with that, I'm gonna call it at 20 megabytes. Um, it's not frozen, the bar is still moving. So I'm gonna call it 20 megabytes is the limit for Windows 2000. You can't go any lower. So with that being said, if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.